Hi guys. I showed you this clockwork shark that I bought from Wilco for a pound. And I said I was going to make it into a boat. Or at least use the clockwork motor for a boat. So I've got a bit of scrap foam packaging here that I've drawn out with a sort of a boat shape on it. And I've cut out a propeller from this plastic card. I'll put a link in the video description to a video where I actually show you how to do this in a bit more detail. But I need to heat this up and twist it so that we've got the right shape propeller and put it onto a little shaft that we can connect to the motor that's in here. So here's our clockwork motor. Which spins this shaft. I'm going to extend that by putting another shaft behind it because that's going to be a bit too short. But we'll put the motor here somewhere, have the shaft going down through the bottom here so we can have the propeller underneath. That's our boat. I might need to put something underneath it so we can put it at a bit of an angle. Right, what can we use for extending the shaft? That's a bit of fibreglass from a kite. It looks about the same diameter. This is a bit of power cable. of plastic tubing join on there so that's extended our shaft That's a bit of drinking straw, quite a narrow one. Yep, I think that'll do. And then we need the propeller. Push the hole through the middle of that propeller so that it grips tight on this shaft that I'm going to use. Now, because this is plastic that goes soft when it gets hot, I'm going to hold it in front of this bulb, which is a halogen bulb, which gets hot and we'll be able to twist it to give us the right pitch for the propeller to push the boat forwards. When we wind up this motor, we can see it turns away from us on the top, so that means we need to turn each blade can see that direction so that it digs into the water and pushes the water backwards. So we just need it to get a little bit soft and then we can twist it. And as, it get, as it cools down it goes stiff and hard again.
I'll probably do. We're not trying to make a racing boat here, speed boat. I'll put a little bit of glue on the end there just to make sure it stays in place. And then that'll do. Now we need to make sure that when we put the motor in place, the propeller doesn't actually hit the bottom of the boat. So we need to put it up at a bit of a height there so the angle's right. A couple of minor changes as I've gone along. I found this foam is just so flexible that the propeller was hitting the bottom of it quite easily. So I've added a strengthener on there just to curve the back of it up a bit. This is cut off of a drinks tin or drinks can. It's aluminium. So I'm going to glue that on the back, fold it so that we can use it as a rudder. So that's our rudder, so we can bend it whichever way we want. And I'll just hot glue that straight on the back there. Well, that worked. Doesn't go very far, but we do have a clockwork boot. Okay. 